Greetings, friend. We are on day 22, and we're studying today the difference between walking by the Spirit and living in the flesh. Now, the difference here is between Spirit and flesh. A while back, and I'm talking about the past century, there was a teaching that came along that said believers have two natures, right? We have a good nature and a bad nature, kind of like we have two dogs within us, and they're always at war, and and whichever one we feed is the one that wins. That is absolutely false teaching. I want to show you why. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. Salvation is transformation. Where, when I put faith in the message of the cross, my old nature is gone. It died. I now have a new nature. Only. I only have a new nature. That's me. That's who I am. The problem is this new nature, this new self, lives in a body of flesh that's weak, that stumbles a lot, that doesn't do what I want it to do. So what's the difference? Is it merely semantics that we're talking about? No, the difference is identity. If I see myself as being a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, a a good nature and a bad nature, and well, whichever one I feed is, that's how I'm going to live. If I see myself as that, that at any one time, I myself can be living in bondage to sin uh, because I'm feeding that nature, that person who I really am. But that's not true. My identity is one of my old nature being crucified with Christ. It died. And I've been raised with Christ to a new creation. I have a new heart. I have a new spirit. I have new desires. I am a new person. And so are you. So it's not mere semantics. It has to do with your identity. And so I want you to see yourself as your old nature being hung up on the tree with Christ. The old now is gone. And on the third day, you rose with him to a new self. You now have a new heart. You are a new person. That's your identity. That's what you live out of. That's what enables you to make choices. But you struggle because you have flesh That is the remnant of your old self, of your old life. You see, salvation is not addition. It's transformation. You see the difference? When a person is saved, he doesn't simply add on a new nature to his old nature so that at any one time I could be one or the other. Salvation is not addition. It's transformation. This is such wonderfully good news. And it's what you learn if you look at the cross. So if you've been taught the way I had about having two dogs within you and whichever one you feed gets stronger, you know, so at any one time you could be a black dog or a white dog, a strong dog, a weak dog. (laughs) Try and eject that teaching. It's false. It's wrong. It will keep you enslaved. Embrace the new you, the new self, the old having gone, having been crucified with Christ. The new is who you are. But watch out, because the new is encased in flesh. And so when you're standing, take heed, lest you fall. I hope that helps, and I look forward to hearing your thoughts on that.